Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who's ready for day five? Congratulations, you made it all the way to the final day. And um, it's interesting listening to Eddie Perino right there at the end. You know, my father taught me where there's a will, there's a way. And I fundamentally believe that some of our hardest tasks in life, you just have to find the way. And there's always a way if there's a will. And um, see, my camera's moved a little bit here. Let me just put it down a bit. So I'm not sitting up in the, in the skylight here. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk a lot today about commitment. We're going to talk a lot about plans. We're going to talk about execution. And we're going to talk about action. You know, at the end of the day, for the last week, you've committed to your future self. You spent the first three days talking about and learning about where to get the right information. Yesterday, you learned about how to find the right partners. And today, it's about putting it all into action. Now, I know none of you are like me. Um, <clears throat> but, but, but just in case there's anyone else that's like me. Um, is anyone else out there that like goes and reads a book and thinks, wow, that's an incredible book. You know, Think and Grow Rich as an example. Incredible book. And there's a whole bunch of exercises in this book. And, you know, I would read this book. And I go, that's a, that's a great book. Tell you what, I need some more knowledge. Let me go read Real Estate Riches. Oh, hang on. That's a hell of a good book as well. Um, but I, I think I need some more knowledge. You know, I'll go read Money Master the Game. Oh, no, that, that's also a hell of a good book. I'll tell you what, maybe I need some more knowledge. Let, let me go read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That's also a hell of a good book. Maybe I'll get some more knowledge. <laughs> I think you get my point. Um, you know, and on top of reading books, it might be courses, it might be coaches, it might be mentors, it might be degrees. Um, <laughs> if you like me, it's all of them. And the problem was, is that for 14 years, it was about gathering more information and to some extent not executing on the information that was there. And I just want to check, am I the only one in the room that's like that? Dan Wilson calls it a octopus on roller skates. So going around in 20 different directions, trying to learn, always thinking, right, I need to learn more. Because I tell you what, when I know enough, I'll finally actually do something. I just want to check. So I'm, I'm owning it. I just want to see if anyone else in the room is prepared to own it. And, um, you know, one of the things that was a game changer for me, and I told you 2010, when I went to that business mastery event, it was truly a game changer for me. And one of the things that Chet Holmes said, so Chet Holmes was Tony Robbins' business partner. And Chet Holmes has doubled the sales. Now listen to what I'm about to say here. He's doubled the sales in 50 of the Fortune 500 companies. 50. Now it's one thing to come into a little mom and pop store and to double the sales. The Fortune 500 companies are the biggest 500 companies in the world. And he has doubled the sales of 50 of them. Now, I think if that's the case, can we agree that we probably should be concentrating on what he has to share? Well, he said the, the problem is, is that people out there are always trying to do 4,000. <laughs> Gotta love technology. Um, <laughs> basically, my, my hard drive is a bit like my brain. It's like, right, I've had enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm full. Um, right, so where was I with Chet Holmes? So I learned this amazing, this amazing thing with Chet Holmes because I was that person. I was trying to do 4,000 different things running around. And that's why I love Ann Wilson's octopi, uh, octopus on roller skates because it's like all over the place. And by the way, I meet people applying for the mastermind. I even have people in the mastermind and they're like, oh, I'm doing this course and this course and this course and this course and this course. I'm like, firstly, it's impossible um, to do so many things all at the same time and not be focused. And again, you know, back to my lesson from Chet Holmes. So that was me prior to 2010. So I'm not naming, blaming or shaming or pointing fingers. In fact, something I learned that's beautiful is you point a finger at someone and you get three pointing back at you. So I learned, you know, I'm just sharing with you what happened, what I did, my personal lesson. So in 2010, Chet Holmes said, you know, in business, people are trying to do 4,000 different things, but actually there's only 12 core fundamentals to business. And if you do them 4,000 different times, you're going to get the results. And I started to really reflect on that comment. And it's exactly the same in wealth. Like there are core principles. And if you want to get access to our wealth code, you know, I would, um, 
I would hang around because at the end, I'm going to give it to you as a gift. But we have a wealth code and there's only 12 things you need to do. And the point being is that rather than trying to do 8,000 or 4,000 different things, you only have to do 12 things 4,000 different times. And it was such an important lesson for me. And I thought it's just a great way to start off today because as we culminate today and as today becomes a transition from knowledge into action, because if you don't take action, you're not going to get results. And I'm only interested in results. You know, if you're here for five days just to gain more knowledge and to go on more courses and to do more challenges. I mean, just this week, last uh, Wednesday, I was doing the Russell Brunson um, Think and Grow Rich Challenge. Today, I got a business one from Tony Robbins. I mean, I, you can go on a course every single day if you want. <laughs> and it ain't gonna, and they, they, they're brilliant. They're lovely. And you learn lots and they make you feel good. But they're not going to change your life at all unless you actually do something. Okay, let's rock and roll. Who's ready for day five? Ready to bring it all together? Okay, let me get the chat box up so I can see what people are saying. Okay, so day five is about putting it all into practice, creating a personalized action plan to diversify your investments effectively. You know, for me, day five is empowering you to transform your newfound knowledge into real world results, ensuring you leave the challenge not just informed, but equipped to navigate your financial future with confidence. Implementing diversification in real life, building a personalized action plan, resources and ongoing learning, applying diversification principles to real investments, and a Q&A session to run through real life stories. Again, I remind you, I know it's the last day, but try being focused. Try not look at your emails, try to look at your social media and your WhatsApp. And the best way to do that is to take notes. Um, I learned this a long, long time ago. Take notes with the intention of teaching other people. Because if you do that, then you're going to be fully, fully focused. And maybe it's just your children. Maybe you just want to take notes to teach your children. <clears throat> Back to the resources guide. Shane's already shared with you a resources guide. So I'm going to jump straight over that. Although maybe if you just want to chuck it again quickly in the thanks to Shane in the chat box so that people can go along. But all the resources from all five days are there for you. You've got the WhatsApp group. If you want to stay on the WhatsApp group, we, it is one directional, so don't worry, you won't get a happy Christmas or happy Diwali message, but we can then keep you up to date as to what's happening in our world and if there's new things coming or even new deals coming or anything like that, um, which people which people like. If you want to collaborate and work with um, other people, then you know go to the Facebook group and collaborate. I am a little bit surprised at the lack of collaboration. You know, um, I'm truly blessed. Like I've got this incredible community of global investors. I mean, just yesterday, I was talking to a guy called Ryan Pinnock. He was the number one, the number one salesman for Rich Dad, Poor Dad in England. Um, I've worked with him for many, many years. He's a great friend of mine. And, you know, he's fully connected in the British market. And, you know, so I've got access to all these people. I, you know, I've, I've, I, again, I don't want to be arrogant, but I've spent time with Tony Robbins on, on, in Fiji. I've spent time with Richard Branson on Necker Island. And like, I've got the networks, but the thing is, I've really consciously gone out there to put myself in the place where I'm the dumbest, poorest person and engage and add value. You've got, you've been given like places to do it. You know, there's the Wealth Hackers group. And just by the way, Shane, I don't know if we shared that, but maybe if you want to chuck up the, the Wealth Hackers and maybe it's time for me to take off my shirt because I should be behaving like a Wealth Hacker and not like a financial advisor. <clears throat> and, um, you know, for me, like there's the Wealth Hacker community. There's the Wealth Hacker Facebook group. There's the, there's the challenge, you know, like the group, you know, go and collaborate, go and learn, go and share with people. You know, it's, it's, you, you, you're not going to get there if, as an island, I promise you. Right. Some congratulations. Firstly, a new global investor to Lindsay. So Lindsay said that her funds have reflected and she's done the DWG investment. Thanks for assisting me and apologies for their very first overseas investment. So well done to Lindsay. And I'll tell you why. I am not here to pontificate. I'm not here to hear people, oh, I got lots of knowledge. Thanks so much. I want to see results. So well done to Lindsay um, and someone else, Lazarus. Lazarus just made my first investment in Germany. So Lazarus, congratulations. Uh, that's absolutely fantastic. And to both of you, I want to give you a gift. So I'm going to give you Wealth Going Global. And um, yep, it's a little bit out of the ordinary, unusual. But our philosophy is we like to um, incentivize action takers. So well done to, to both of them. And um, yeah, 
if you have already bought Wealth Going Global, because I think uh, Shane said that Lindsay had already bought Wealth Going Global, then gift it to someone. Give it to your children, give it to a friend, give it to someone who you think would um, would, uh, would would get benefit out of it. I don't know. Connect with someone who's on the on the Facebook group. If you're on the Facebook group and you think you deserve it, go and speak to the two of them. They've got they've got uh, free access to it. And just by the way, because I do this all the time, um, you know, I I pay for courses and then I share my logins with other people. I mean, you can do that. I'm, I'm, like we don't have massive sophisticated security, but the point being is that um, the the thing that Shane's built, which is so clever is it's personalized plans. You can share it with other people, but then they don't get their personalized plans. So it's far better if you've got children or whatever to buy them an option. We do have family packages to so reach out to us if you're interested. Because really the whole idea with Asset Mastery and Wealth Going Global is that everyone walks away with their own personalized plan, which is why it's so powerful in terms of that process. So anyway, well done to, uh, to all of them. Um, in terms of the prizes, remember that today there will still be a grand prize at the end. So share your key takeaways with diversification, engage in the chat. You will join the VIP upgrade and you'll be gifted into the VIP for next time. So you'll get a full access to the next VIP upgrade in terms of that process. And not only will you get all the recordings, but you will, uh, you'll get lifetime access you know, um, to, to all the recordings and everything else. So it's not too late if you're thinking, right, you know, I'd love to get, because by the way, all the recordings will come down Shane's going to allow everyone um, the ability to get access to Wealth Going Global at that ridiculous um, experiment we're trying, which is allowing people to get started for free. Um, but that's only going to, you literally have to sign up. Um, Shane, I, I can't remember if you're doing it till Monday or Tuesday, um, but I know there's a, dead, a time limit. Like I know it's ending. So I don't know if you uh, could just tell people quickly. Yeah, so I think we will do it until 5 p.m. on Tuesday. And then we, and that's when it'll end. Excellent. So the recordings and everything will be up till 5 p.m. on Tuesday, and then everything will come down. And so, yeah, if you don't have plans for the weekend and you don't want to pay any money, I suggest you uh, book yourself in front of your laptop <laughs> and watch all the recordings over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, or you could just pay for VIP and get the recordings for life. Okay. Um, I, by the way, it's Friday and I'm in a fun and happy mood. It's the most incredible sunny day here. Um, I, the moment this is over, I have a coaching session and then I will be on the boat. So I'm in a fantastic mood and I intend to share my fun energy with you. So we have the globally diversified passive income, which sits at the middle here. And it's all about diversifying across countries, currencies, assets, partners, and time. My coaching session this afternoon is exactly this, because I've already done the one-to-one -one session with the person. Like they're very clear on what they want to achieve. But they're now like a little bit, I did that coaching session with them a month ago and I've seen no action. I've seen very, well, very little action. So we got, we got kind of clear on, on you know, what, what their tasks were that they needed to do. So the session is now get results. And you kind of heard me say this a few times, whether you like me, love me or hate me, whether I'm the carrot or the stick, between Alex and I, I'm going to kick ass to get results. Like that, that's what my job is. Okay, you're not, you know, if you want an accountability partner, you don't need a girlfriend or a boyfriend to hug you and, and, and be your sweet loving partner. Someone else can do that. This is to get you results. And so like my session this afternoon is, you said you want this, you said you need to do this, this and this to achieve it. What have you done in that process? And by the way, one of the number one problems that I have in virtually every coaching call that I have, uh, my one-to-one -one set up in the mastermind is I don't have time. And it always starts with creating, and just by the way, I don't even know why I'm doing this, but let me just show you very quickly. It always starts with creating a plan. So if I go here quickly, weekly plan, here's my weekly plan. And you basically have to have your perfect week design. And I don't even know why I'm going here before I even get started, but the, why I'm doing this is because literally every single step one process I have as part of the mastermind, People are like, yeah, but I want to do this and I don't have the time and like this. And I go, cool. Well, you're never going to have the time unless you change something. And the way to change it is you design your life. So you design your perfect week and you deserve, you design the blocks. So again, I don't know how much time you want me to go into this, but you've got all the different areas of your life, whether it's your family, your one thing, your important stuff, your revenue, your team, your weekly meetings. My whole life is designed. Now, do I stick to it completely? Of course I don't. But, but it's a framework and a guide um, in terms of it. So, you know, back, back to that coaching. The session I have this afternoon is exactly that. 
It's like, right, you had all these goals. We got clear on all your measures. Now, what are we going to do to design your life to set you up for success? Because as Einstein says, if you keep doing the same thing and expect different results, it's never going to happen. So your action steps for yesterday. Identify one specific risk in your current investments and outline how diversification can mitigate it. Name three things which you can do to find the right partners and the right information. Consider wealth going global. And there was the link. And consider the mastermind and you can apply. And then share one key takeaway on social media with hashtag diversification. And then with time, go and watch Judd Dunning. By the way, Judd Dunning's deal is going live today. So please remind me, Shane, that um, I want to share that uh, with people. And then also Bruce Saunders um, is opportunity. Okay. And if you're still not sure what to do, Shane's built you a lovely digital navigator as to help you what the next steps are in terms of that process. Okay, just a reminder quickly and a quick recap on a couple of like the action items you can do. You've got wealth going global forward slash join. Okay, and what does that mean? Well, you walk away with results. You actually walk away with a wealth plan and you walk away with an investor strategy sheet. So I'm going to take you through this today. Um, I'm literally going to teach you today how to... Uh, where am I going? Sorry. I'm going to teach you today how to build your own uh, wealth plan. But if you want it done for you, so again, this is the difference between do it all yourself. So if you want it done for you and you want to go through a digital process, I mean, Shane's incredible. He's built this entire thing. You go through and you literally create your own personalized wealth plan. And if you do wealth going global, you not only create your own personalized wealth plan. So there's mine. But you also... Um, create your own investor strategy sheet. So rather than just aimlessly walking out in the world, like where should I invest, which countries, which currencies, which assets, you then have your own specific uh, investor strategy sheet in terms of that process. So, um, you, know, I, I, you know, I know I was part of building it, but I have yet to see something that's like this out there that's this simple and can take you through the process and you walk away with your own personalized plan. So those are the results, the value, Again, Shane, we need to fix these slides, dude, but um, it's, uh, it's over $8,000 uh, if you put it all together. And, you know, we've kind of tried to make it a bit of a no-brainer for people. We've not made it, you know, $8,000. It's literally $297 if you pay for it up front, which is a 50% discount, or you can literally get started for naught dollars. I don't know what more to say to you. <laughs> um, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you want globally diversified passive income, whether it's 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, safely and simply, if you want to diversify between countries, currencies, and assets, if you want to get effective results with predictability, if you want to save decades of frustration and millions of dollars um, to get the right knowledge for you and your family, if you want wealth protection, plan B and peace of mind, if you want generational wealth, if you want a fully executed wealth plan, invest a strategy sheet, and you want results, then we literally built Wealth Going Global uh, to help you achieve it and if you want the discounts and everything else then that's the link um, it should be pretty easy for you i can see shane's put it in i want to share a quick video with you because this lady um literally did the course earlier this year and i thought it would be very valuable for you again you might have realized i like to bring real people real stories of just her experience um, of doing it and where's she going there she is so it's a short little video. Nina, thanks so much for joining us late in the evening. I deeply appreciate it. Um, just a couple of quick questions for you, Nina. A lot of people will be sitting at tonight, not too dissimilar to where you were a couple of weeks or months ago. And you were thinking to yourself, you know, as I understand it, you're a property investor yourself. You've read all the books. You're, they're very similar to me. You've done all the courses, done all the books. Um, but, but this investing internationally and, you know, is, is overwhelming. And often when you come on something like this, it can feel too good to be true. What was your experience? Where were you at during that time? Yeah, I think for me, you know, um, investing overseas has always been a bit of pie in the sky. You know, I never felt that I would ever be confident enough to do it because, um, you know, I always want to know and understand exactly what I do before I get involved in any venture. So, um, so this course really opened things up for me and um, made me believe that it's really a possibility for me. Tell me, Anina, for, for someone that, 
you know, is time poor. You know, one of the challenges that we've got is that someone like myself, someone like yourself, we're running busy lives, we've got careers, etc. Um, and yet we've been wanting to do this for years. This course is it's quite intense. There's quite a lot to it in a short space of time. What was your experience in terms of gathering the information, not necessarily or feeling overwhelmed, but you know, like like do you understand that like it's it feels like it's a big mountain to climb? You've you've got that system, you can go back to it. But what what's been your experience between that sort of overwhelm, too busy, you know, at, at work, but ultimately wanting to get the knowledge and be able to execute? Yeah, Scott, so I must be honest, in the beginning, I, uh, um, it was quite daunting to think that I had to block out three hours a week to, um, to attend the, the um, webinars. But in the end, um, it worked out perfectly. And also, I think just the way you and Shane uh, organized the information. So if, if you did miss something, um, it was quite easy to listen to the recording and go back to the slides. And in fact, as you know, you know, after about the third or the fourth webinar, I felt a bit lost and overwhelmed and I took a day and a half out and I actually re-listened to all the material, which really brought uh, a lot of the concepts home for me, you know. So, so yeah, I think just, um, just it doesn't matter how busy you are, as long as you can make some time in your schedule, you know, the information is there, it's well organized and it's easy to access at any time. Brilliant. You know, it's so interesting. I remember being taught by Dr. Anna Strand many years ago. People say to me, yeah, well, I don't have time to be able to do it. And I'm like, well, in 10 years time, if you don't do something now, is anything actually going to change in, in 10 years, you know, like in the future? You know, so it's always what Anna Strand said <clears throat> and what he taught me is you need to sometimes look at yourself over 10 years and you say, what decision do I need to make today? so that I can be different in 10 years. And then if it's important enough to you, you'll make the time, is what I learned from Anna Australia, you know, many, many years ago. You need a last yeah, question. I, Sorry, off you. Um, I, I just want to say to people who are on the fence right now, you know, um, there's no time like the present. Um, you know, a lot of us, uh, and I think you told the story as well, that uh, sometimes you wish you'd started 10 years ago. So I just want to say to people who are on the fence, the time is now, just go for it. Awesome. No, Nina, I deeply appreciate that. And I think my, my, final, my final comment to you is, firstly, well done and congratulations for going through it. You know, so many people in life, you know, want something, but don't actually do anything about it. And, and you did, and I just really want to acknowledge and congratulate you for that. My final question to you is, what's it like the feeling of kind of walking away with an investor strategy sheet, with a wealth plan, like actually something tangible. So not just knowledge, but actually having an action plan. What does that feel like to you? Yeah, I must admit, you know, um, the, the, um, the wealth calculator was a bit um, depressing <laughs> when I first did the calculations. Um, because, yeah, I mean, it, but it, it's a reality check that's necessary, you know, to understand that if you want to, get to where you want to go that this is what you have to do and you have to start today and um so so i think it's really valuable um for for having a wealth plan and to know what you need to do from tomorrow onwards and uh yeah i mean i'm really excited and i can't wait for the deals coming on the platform so i'm looking out for those and uh, excited to begin awesome well Amina, thanks so much for coming and sharing your experience with everyone tonight. I deeply appreciate you um, giving us your time. And I think the most important thing that hopefully everyone gets out of this is that you were in their shoes two months ago. And I know, as an example, you and Alex had a, had a chat and it was a little bit of a, you know, again, it, it, you know, for everyone, it's almost like we all need that little push sometimes. And uh, hopefully, if nothing else tonight, your story can give them the push that they need. Because it won't change my life. I don't care whether people get the knowledge. I've already got it. <laughs> But it's whether they get it for themselves that's going to make a difference, you know. No, absolutely. And uh, yeah, I can highly recommend. So go for it, guys. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks so much, Anina. I deeply appreciate it. So just a quick little video um, from someone that's done it, uh, which is pretty cool. A couple of things that have come up. Um, someone asked if we're doing another challenge. Uh, we do do them about uh, once every two months or so. So yeah, if you want to, if you want to take a look out, 
uh, to Micheline, who said, I'm, I'm jealous of being on the boat. She was with me two weeks ago, so she knows what to experience. Uh, Mandy, the weather's cuck in Cape Town, so I know what's coming, so thanks for that. Uh, Fern, well done on, on doing your life audit. That's that's really, really awesome. Uh, Sipo, um, dude, awesome to see you again. Uh, this young man from literally his, his late teenagers, early 20s, has been one of the most driven men I've ever met. So Sipo, I'd like to gift you access um, to not only Wealth Going Global, but also to Asset Mastery. Um, and the reason being, you know, I remember years ago, you literally catching taxis, um, literally from the township to come to our Wealth Partner events to learn, you know, the journey you've been on and the adversity you've come from and the drive you've got. Um, sure. To get results is amazing. Um, so yeah. Uh, just reach out to me and Shane and I will gift that to you. Um, to Lazarus, uh, Shane will send you the links as to how you get access uh, to Wealth Going Global. Um, and to Jesus, um, yeah, just just chat with Shane in the in the in the chat box. I want to I want to crack on. Okay, sure. See, boy, you made me emotional, dude. Okay. Right, let's rock and roll. So uh, that's the link, wealthgoingglobal.com forward slash join. Um, like I said, I can think of nothing better than uh, empowering people that are really putting in the effort. Okay, reminding you that it's all about the right information and the right partners. And, you know, again, we've literally built Wealth Going Global to give you the right information and Asset Mastery to give you the right partners. So uh, Sipo, I'm gifting you both of those. Um, your journey to wealth has been incredible and you deserve it. Okay, so those of you who want to go to the next level, I asked you this question yesterday. If you had an extremely direct question, a serious medical condition, you had to lose 10 to 15 kilos as quickly as possible. You had two options. You could go buy a home study course or you could literally have a coach turn up at your door. Which one would you take? I think, you know, the bottom line is we all know intuitively that we would take the coach According to Harvard, you're going to be 400 percent, 400 percent better off with a coach, and, uh, and and you know an accountability partner, someone getting results. And I've you know I've played this video this for you. Extremely predictable. Tons of research around it. I'm not going to play it again, but the bottom line is what he says is humans change five times faster in groups than they do with a one-to-one -one coach. So according to Harvard, you're four times better off if you've got a coach than if you do it on your own, and if you do it in a mastermind, a like-minded group you five times better off than if you have a coach. Now, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist, I don't believe, to figure it out. You multiply four by five, you're 20 times better off if you're in a like-minded mastermind than if you're on your own. 20 times. But what you need is a collection of people who are committed and driven and so want to make the right changes happen. And you give them a leader to follow who's willing to get in the trenches. And all of a sudden, you find real, rapid life and business transformation. So ultimately, you get to decide if that's something for you. Do you want real, rapid business and life transformation? And in our space, it's you know wealth and, and, and globally diversified passive income. So I know I'm doing this. I know I'm pushing this. But the bottom line is all of us live in our comfort zone here. And what I was put on this planet to do is to help people leave their comfort zone. Um, because I believe it's where the magic lies. That's why we created the mastermind. There's five simple steps. I sit down with you one-to-one. -one. I get very clear on what your outcomes are for you, not my outcomes, your outcomes. I have a process to help you get very clear on your top three outcomes and your top three measures. Then you meet with Calio. You get very clear on your current portfolio, how you optimize your current portfolio, your tax, your structuring, and everything in a personalized and bespoke way. You then build a plan to get from A to B. And then, you know, again, most people don't even have a plan. But if you had a plan, you know, again, most people don't even execute on that plan. And that's why we have the mastermind. It's at least a 12-month journey. Many people say, what happens after 12 months? Quite frankly, it's a lifetime journey. But the point being is that every single month, we're checking in to help you get results. That's exactly what my session is this afternoon. Check in, get results. Check in, get results. And then it's all the financial learning and accountability. And just, I do remind you, if um, I did share it, I, I don't know, in the VIP group, I think, um, this, is, this is a sneak preview. And I don't ever rush people. Quite frankly, you can join the mastermind in 10, 10 years' time if you want to. But we have a unique thing starting on Wednesday. 
So I learned about the Enneagram um, a year ago. The Enneagram is older than religion. It's 5,000 years old, and it's all about personality profiling. There's nine different profiles. The thing that I enjoy most is that it's a lot to do with your childhood wounding, who you are, how you behave. Do you know that 95% of the decisions we make come from our subconscious brain and only 5% come from our conscious brain? You need to understand yourself. And in the space of wealth, although we like to think we're rational, we're actually very irrational in terms of our programming. And something I'm super excited um, to, be, to be embarking on literally with the mastermind members starting on Wednesday. So we literally, and it's a four month journey we're going on. So we basically are marrying together. I've never seen it before, but it's the marriage of the Enneagram and wealth. So navigating wealth and well-being. So one of the reasons that, and again, I can't remember if I said this publicly or in the VIP room, but I only found out about this in March. Uh, I was sitting at our wealth weekend in March and we literally had our, our different uh, mastermind members there. And we were talking about the Enneagram and Anthony, who's from Calio, was like, oh, all of our family office clients go through this process because not only is it important for them to understand themselves, but for their family, their partners, their husbands, their wives, their, you know, their children, et cetera. And so I was like, oh, well, if you do that for your family office clients, we need to do it for our mastermind clients. So we've literally put this entire program together. I'm going to share it. Um, I, I think I might have shared it already. But it's like, what is the psychology to wealth and the history of the Enneagram? Understanding the different Enneagram types, um, your money mindset and your beliefs, your financial habits and your patterns, your legacy and your family relationships, and your money and partnerships. And then finally, bring it all together with smart investing. So we're embarking on a four-month journey. It starts on Wednesday. Every single mastermind member is going to get the knowledge. We're going to run on. We're going to go through it over the next three months. And then they're also going to get a personalized um, option with Calio Consulting, where you'll learn about your Enneagram, how it all works in a personalized way, because this is all about building the future. And then in August, we're going to come together with a guy called David Lipschitz, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I apologize if I'm not. And he basically specializes in generational wealth. One of the greatest needs for us as part of the mastermind is generational wealth. How do you pass on wealth? Not only if you've got money, but how do you pass on knowledge and wealth to your children? And so we're culminating. So the Enneagram is all around understanding ourselves, our relationships, our partners, and our relationship with money, building towards um, the generational wealth, which is happening in August. And then at the end of August, beginning of September, the mastermind members are collectively getting together from around the world in a three-day event to bring it all together. And one of the reasons that this is so important is that you've got the hard skills of money, you've got investing and asset allocation and portfolio analysis and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then you've got the soft skills of money, which is all about the mindset, the psychology, um, the generational wealth, the conscious capital, et cetera. And we bring it all together. And we literally are pulling all of this um, all of these different skills. And what, what, what I'm blown away by is that again, back to family office, and most of you never even heard of a family office. These are the things family offices do. Like these are all the things that, that, that family office clients are getting that I know you're not getting from your financial advisor. Like, trust me, I know this because this doesn't happen at scale and it doesn't happen for mom and pop and it doesn't happen for retail, but it does happen at a family office level. And so if I said a mastermind level, you've heard my philosophy over and over and over again is if that's what wealthy people are doing, then we should be copying them. Or even better, we should be partnering with them. Same, like I'm like a broken record, I know. But if that's what they're doing, we should be doing it and we should be partnering with them. And so, yeah, if you're sitting on the fence and you're not sure, trust me, now's the time to join the mastermind because this is a journey that we literally are starting on Wednesday. And, um, and obviously, you can go and watch the recordings if you sign up in August. But the bottom line is like, it's far better to be part of the process and actually do it for you and get your own one and be personalized. The whole thing with the mastermind is that it's personalization. It's not just knowledge, it's personalization. You know, you don't just do outcomes, you do your outcomes. You don't just do a financial plan, you do your financial plan. Um, and in the same way, way with the Enneagram Well, I don't want to waste time today because there's lots to go through. Um, but you know, I, I see a huge future in smart investing and marrying together the Enneagram, which is probably one of the most recognized and sophisticated personality planning tools in the world and, and smart investing. 
and I see it no different to a dating app like Tinder, where you're literally marrying together. This is what you need. So I don't know, you're a low risk environment person and you want good quality investments that are low risk and it helps you make the right investments. And all the technology today exists. We already have all the technology over here. We've got our GID system and everything else. It already all exists, but I haven't been able to find the personality profiling. And now that I know that Calio Consulting are doing it for the family office and specifically the whole wealth space, we're going to marry it together. And I, yeah, this is truly, truly exciting. And our mastermind people are going to be the people that get to experience that first. So if you want to be like Jordan, 55 years, wants to protect his wealth and all the things that Jordan got, whether it's globally diversified passive income, diversifying countries and currencies, you know, saving decades of time, wealth protection, plan B, peace of mind, having a family office as a partner to manage all your personal affairs, generational wealth, you know, having a full plan, getting results, then, you know, the mastermind was built for you. If you like Victoria and you're devoted to your family and you want to build generational wealth, you're super busy and, you know, you want a, a streamlined investment, you know, package, you want to be empowered so that you can make your own decisions and you want financial freedom to cherish more moments with your loved ones. You know, so if you resonate with Victoria, the mastermind was built for you. Or as simply as you met Cynthia yesterday, um, a beautiful lady, a teacher, a single mom, you know, who, you know, who had financial difficulties, but, but by, by doing this and changing your mindset and getting access to passive income, it made a massive difference in her life. And if you didn't watch yesterday, I highly, highly recommend it because you'll realize that, that it's possible for you as well. And that's our aspirational ladder, just in case you're not sure how it works. We've got Wealth Going Global, which is the right information. We've got Asset Mastery, which is the right partners. And we've got the Family Office Mastermind, which is you know our all-inclusive kind of process. So if you want to do the home study course, remember back to the doctor, they're there. And if you want the coach and someone to hold your hand, then that's the green uh, button. You know, literally that little green arrow that you just saw. Um, that's the coaching, that's the mastermind as we help you climb this journey um, the entire way through. So if you want to join us, it is by application only. Alex's job, my job is to make sure that we get like-minded people joining the group. Because I said to you yesterday, there's only three things that we have to achieve. The first one is that we've got to make sure that we've got like-minded people. Like the quality of the, of the group is, and the integrity of that quality is our most important responsibility. The second is that everyone's pulling towards the same target. So if you're interested in diversification and specifically diversified passive income, then this is the mastermind to join. If you're not interested in that, then don't. <laughs> it's that simple. And uh, so those are the two things. And then thirdly, equally, it's symbiotic. You need to, you know, we meet you, you meet us. It's got to be a mutual fit. Um, so those are the three things that, that are absolutely essential for success. As we get into, you know, finalizing your plan for today, I remind you, I'm not giving you financial advice. I am giving you the tools um, so that you can make the right decisions for you and your family uh, going forward. So let's get right into day five and putting it all into practice. I remind you that this, and, you know, again, you've seen this enough times today. You're probably going to be dreaming about it tonight. But it's globally diversified passive income, diversifying across countries, currencies, assets, partners, and time. I am going to take you through a process today, which is the top of the iceberg. But I have already shown you that if you want someone to digitally hold your hand and take you on the journey, then we've got Wealth Going Global to take you through the entire thing. Module five is all about time. It's how do you build a portfolio? Timing is everything. Portfolio construction accounts for 85% of your returns. Our mission is to help investors design their wealth plan. And so I go into this in a lot more detail in Wealth Going Global, but just to give you a quick screenshot, these are the different asset classes and these are the different timings of these different asset classes. So um, Ron, Ron asked a quick question, why do I call it passive income? Uh, Ron, active income is where you're working. So like right now, as much as I love what I'm doing and quite frankly, I'm doing it for free, I'm still active. I'm on stage. I'm talking. I'm live. This is not a recording. You know, if I fall over or <laughs> the internet goes off, then it's real. Um, passive is where you sleep. As Warren Buffett says, if you don't learn to make money while you're sleeping, you'll work for the rest of your life. And so, Ron, I call it passive because I can be sleeping. I can be sitting on my boat this afternoon 
and my industrial building in America will be paying me an income or my German mixed use building in Germany will be paying me an income without me doing anything, nothing. And that's why I say residential property, high in hassle, low in results, high in hassle, low in results. And my commercial property, high in returns, low in hassle. And anyone that's ever owned residential property will know exactly what I'm talking about. Even if you've got management agents, they're consistently getting hold of you and the tenants leaving and you've got maintenance and the bloody sky's gone off or there's always bloody problems, always. Whereas commercial property, that's taken care of by the partner, triple e, you generally you've got triple net leases. And so you're passive. You, you literally can be on holiday or sleeping and you're making money. So let's go to the timing. And again, you can screenshot the, you know, these, but multifamily, these are the different asset classes we went through. Multifamily is where you own, like a mom and pop will go buy one house or one apartment. An institution will go buy 500. Okay, so my thing is don't be a mom and pop, be an institution. And let's buy, you know, the entire apartment block, which is called multifamily. It tends to be a three to five year investment. Industrial property, generally three to five years, although we have had um, debt structures, which have been 12 months. Um, medical office building tends to be three to five years. Office tends to be three to five years. Co-living, this is a new asset class. So it actually tends to be even longer, maybe even eight years. And because often you've got to build it then establish it and then own it, you know, so it could be longer than just three to five years. London residential large scale, three to five years. First mortgage debt tends to be 12 to 18 months. Retail, again, three to five years. Senior age living, we've had both. We've had a short-term debt, 12 months, and we've also had a three to five years. Um, Multi-family, we've had three, you know, January, did I, sorry, I didn't, my screen didn't change there. Uh, ETFs, um, 12 months or kind of three to five years, or you could even argue they're probably eight years, could be forever, basically. Structured notes, we've had both, so we've had short, but they tend to be kind of four years on average. Gold and silver, you know, all the way through. Private equity tends to be longer term, so it tends to be about eight years. Venture capital, I'm probably being kind here, saying three to five years, it tends to be longer as well, eight years. And crypto, again, I mean, some people day trade and some people get in and out. Um, yeah, so so Mike, that's that's what I'm trying to say. The time frame, like if I buy an industrial building, or sorry, I, I I invest alongside a partner in an industrial building, the general time frame that they're looking to own the building before they exit it is generally, you know, three to five years. So what would happen is I'd earn the income for three to five years, and then I when they sell the building, I'd get my capital back plus the capital growth. And Daniel, if you can just, um, Shane, if you can just help Daniel in terms of um, uh, booking a meeting uh, for the mastermind. Okay, so let's go into the wealth plan. So Shane's already shared with you our investor roadmap. And in this investor roadmap, again, Shane was the brains behind this. And he was he sort of said, well, you know, you've got people that are keen, they want to invest, but how do they do it? And he said, well, we need a simple step. So what we do in the investor roadmap is we take you through a simple step. Like what are the fundamentals? How do you set up and how do you actually invest? Okay, it takes about four hours. Again, we got it digitally. You can watch it anytime you want. Um, but, but the second part of this process is how to build a wealth plan. So um, again, we built it into Wealth Going Global. So you've got the entire thing digitally to hold your hand if you want it. Um, and if you want to come to the Investor Roadmap Workshop, you can. Our next one's the 30th of May. However, I wanted to share with you quickly because I'm going to, you know, Shane, Shane always says to me, Scott, Never make people like always like have people leave thinking, wow, they got more than they want. So one of the things I hate about, um, you know, I love Tony Robbins, but I hate about Tony Robbins is whenever I go to an event and on the last day, all they do is try and upsell me to, to new stuff. Okay. So just, just to be clear, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm actually going to give you um, the ability to, to do this right now. So you've got the freedom calculator and I'm going to take you through the freedom calculator and how to do it. And I wanted to share with you quickly where this comes from. So I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad many, many years ago. And where is it gone now? Um, my mother, actually, my father, mother and father actually gave me this book and they wrote in it. Um, and it was 2001 on my birthday. And they said, we hope you make your fortune. But more importantly, 
We hope you, we hope you have good health, many friends, and lots of happiness, lots of love, mum and dad. So, uh, yeah, I suppose I've been on a bit of a journey um, with business and investing my whole life. So I learned about the E, the B, the S, and the I. And again, most of you will already know this, but those are them. So you've got the employee, which is all about active income. And this sort of answers someone's question earlier, Ron. Um, you know, the employee, it's all about hard work, no security, no time. It's all about active income. You're pretty much on this hamster wheel. You know, the self-employed, large debts, insufficient funds, stress. And again, 95% of the people in the world are in this active income. Like whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, a specialist, an anaesthetist, you know, a small business owner, an architect, whatever, you know, you're, you're still in the space. You only make money when you work. Passive income, you're a business owner, easy work, stability, spare time. <laughs> I always joke with that because I haven't quite figured that part out. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then you've got the investor, which is where money works for you. No debts, plenty of money, freedom. And, you know, 5% of people in the world live in this space and they have 95% of the wealth. So it's all about this passive income. And the question is, how do you get to here? And myth number one, and I did go through this the other day with you, is that you have to do it all yourself. And again, my story was, again, this book here, and I, I know I'm repeating it, but I'm doing it on purpose. Uh, where's it going now? I got my books mixed up when I showed you earlier. Um, Real Estate Riches, you know, Dolph DeRuz says, go out there, you know, make, you know, look at 100 houses, make an offer on 10, you know, get accepted for three, buy one. 20 years ago, that was the way to do it. It's mom and pop investing is like riding an ox wagon. And I did it. I mean, this was me in America. I paid $8,000 to be with Dolph for a week. And this was the steps of the courthouse and buying properties and whatever. And literally, this was the old school Scott where I thought I had to go and do it all myself. And, um, and it's, in my opinion, it's complete myth. Like I, you can literally jumpstart this running around looking at houses. You might as well literally tell me, like I might be sitting there with my phone going, hey, do you want to catch an Uber? And you're like, no, 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 I'm comfortable with my horse. Sorry, do you want to catch an Uber? No, 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 I'm comfortable with my horse. Because I'm used to it. People have been telling me to ride horses my whole life. Oh, wait, actually, maybe I'll take my ox wagon as well. So I love this saying, yeah, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And what I'm about to share with you might seem too good to be true because it looks so simple. And yet, actually, that's what we've tried to achieve. So I've been doing this. I literally wrote my dissertation in 1998 on how technology was going to change property and construction. Like, I know you think I'm crazy and I am crazy. Like in 1998, the construction and property industry couldn't spell the word IT. <laughs> I always joke about that, but it's the truth. Um, and I literally did my dissertation on it in 1998. So I've spent 1998 to 2024, what's that, 26 years. I've spent 26 years trying to marry together technology and property. And all I've been trying to do is make it simple and safe, simple and safe, simple and safe. And so, you know, Simon Sinek talks a lot about the golden circle. And I would highly recommend that, you know, you get very clear on your five whys. And again, if you go back to the very first module of Wealth Going Global is the power of clarity and your five whys. Because when you get clear on your why, everyone wants the how and the what. How do I make more money? What do I do? But you've got to get clear on your why first. And so when I look at why investors tend to invest, it's preservation of wealth, it's plan B, it's peace of mind, it's freedom. And I often tell a story about freedom. So if you go to the wealth plan and I share with you my own freedom or my own whys, I want to have the freedom to live where I want, how I want, how I earn my income, where my son goes to school, university, where I go on holiday, basically live a life unlimited. I want to be able to provide for those who care, care about like my uncle did without constraint. I'll, I want to tell you a story about that quickly. I want to have the freedom to choose what I want to do with my time and with whom I want to spend my time with. I want to be able to contribute in a meaningful way and have a significant purposeful impact on the planet. I want to inspire people to achieve the impossible. I want to be a dream provider. I want to be able to leave a legacy and create generational wealth for my family, those who are important to me and be a dream provider in general. And um, to tell you a story about my uncle, point number two. So it happened about two years ago. It was, it was Easter two years ago. Um, my uncle lives in Brisbane. I started on Monday telling you that story. And um, his brother-in-law, so his wife's brother, lives in East London in South Africa. 
and was in a medical, had a medical problem, something to do with his veins and his leg. And um, anyway, so my, my uncle got hold of my brother. My brother's one of the top anesthetists in Cape Town. And he said, what do we do? And my brother says, look, if he goes to a government, he didn't have any medical aid. He said, if he goes to a government hospital in East London, he will die. Um, so my uncle said, fine, we'll sort that out. So he jumped on an airplane and he flew out to South Africa. Now, there's a couple of important points here. Firstly, he didn't have a boss. He didn't have to ask anyone for permission. Secondly, he had the ability to come on a one-way ticket for as long as he needed. Thirdly, he had the money to be able to make that decision. Cool, I'll just do it. So they got on a plane. They flew out to East London. They picked up the brother-in-law. They jumped in a car. Now, by the way, you would never know my uncle's wealthy. Like, he's not ostentatious. He'll hire a Toyota Corolla. You'll know no different. They drove all the way to Cape Town because he couldn't fly. And they got to Cape Town. And my brother had organized for him to go and meet one of the top specialists, top surgeons in Cape Town. So they go and meet this guy. And the guy goes, look, you need the surgery. And if you don't, it's kind of life or death. Um, but the, we've got a big problem here because he doesn't have medical aid. So we're going to have to send him to a government hospital uh, because I can't help him. And my brother and my uncle was like, no, don't worry, it's covered. And the surgeon's like, no, but you don't understand. Like he could go into ICU. I mean, he, he could be there for six months. You, you don't know. Like you have no idea how much money you're signing. Like you, you, there's no way to give you a cost. And my uncle was like, it's covered. And for me, that defines freedom. It's freedom of choice. It's freedom to make the decisions you want. Where do you want to be? Who do you work? Where do you live? Who do you help? Who do you support? Because it's not the grand things in life. It's that freedom of choice that, that I believe is, is the greatest gift that you can give yourself and give to others. And how that story ended was he had the surgery. He was out 24 hours later. You know, he's happy and healthy to this day. Um, so it had a happy ending. But my uncle never knew that when he signed that, that blank check. And, um, and that's why number two is so important to me. Because my uncle... My uncle did that same thing for my dad. And uh, I'm determined to make sure that it's part of my life. So yeah, um, those are my whys. And what we're going to do now with your wealth plan is my strong recommendation is, again, keep it simple. So what are your whys? You know, because your whys are your fuel. You know, I have tough days, just like all of you. But that's what drives me. That's what gets me out of bed. That's what helps me power through when the times are tough. Um, I mean, we've had some some very, very shit times, you know, between personally getting divorced and, you know, in business, we've had some chaotic times, but it's those whys that drive you through. And then you focus on the how, and then you focus on the what. So I remind you of that story that I started on Monday where, you know, my father did what we were all taught to do. Went to school, went to university, worked hard, invested, paid the tax man, you know, blah, blah, blah. But retired, you know, was broke at 59. And I was like, this is bullshit. Like, I'm not living my life like this. Uh, this entire system's broken. I love technology. I've been programming since I was six years old on a computer, a Commodore 64. I love Monopoly. I grew up in a country where inequality... So I'm not, sure, I'm not sure why I'm so emotional today. Um, anyway, it was all around me. And, um, you know, again, we, we actually spoke about this. The top 1% owns more than 50% of the world's wealth, and it's continuing to increase every single year. Where you're born in the world has a dramatic impact on your wealth. Whether you're male or female has a dramatic, a dramatic impact. And also whether you're a millennial or when, you know, Alex always whinges he was born in the wrong time. And so we decided a long time ago that 49% of the world's wealth is held in property and only 12.9% of the world's population has access to that property. And that's residential property. And I've already told you that that's a rubbish investment, 99%, you know. And so the top 
So of that 12.9%, only 1% is investing in, in commercial property and other quality alternative assets. And we decided to change that. You know, we decided to allow everybody to invest like the top 1%. And, you know, as the executive said, you can have anything you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. So for me, our dream is to make investing as simple as a swipe of a finger and ultimately to get it down to as little as $1. And we're not far off. I mean, we're at $10 right now. So I don't believe there's anyone online that can use the excuse that they don't have the money uh, to participate. And again, whether it's $1 or $10, do you think it changes people's lives? No, not at all. But it can change your habits. And if we change your habits, we change your life. So let's go to the resources. Shane, just help me out here quickly. Where do people get the resources for us to do this exercise today? Is it in the resources sheet? It will be, but I'll I'll pop it into the chat as well so that um, everybody can just download it quickly. Okay, cool. Okay, so Shane's put it there in the in the in the chat. So what I want you to do is go and download your certificate. Uh, you can see one of my mastermind members has sent me a, a company in the Middle East and he's asking me if they should invest with it. Anyway, so you've got your wealth plan here and it's pretty cool because you can go in and you can either print it or you can go in and you can literally type it. So again, I love the way Shane does the stuff, but it's basically your own personalized um, you know, certificate. And then Shane, I need the calculator as well, please. So again, these are your tools and what we got, I'm going to take you through the process right now so you can leave today. So remember, these will all be in the resources for you. And then the freedom calculator, you literally go here and you go make a copy. Come on, what's it doing? There it is. And so you've got your own freedom calculator. Okay. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. Sorry, it's just me. Pretty cool. You come on a course, it's free to turn up and we're giving you all these tools that have taken us 20 plus years to build. And by the way, I didn't even build this wealth plan. Uh, this is the power of a mastermind. I had my own wealth plan and was all on spreadsheets and it did the job, but it was super complicated. And um, one, of our, one of our mastermind members said, hey, you know, she can happily do this for us. So she made it on a Google sheet so that we could share it with everyone because obviously everyone has access to Google sheets. And one of the things I will just, um, I will just say to you, with this uh, calculator, it's probably, I don't know the exact stat, but 90 to 95% accurate, maybe 95, I don't know. It's definitely not 100% accurate. It's not super complicated. And there's, you know, I remember, a, a, there's lots of calculators out there. I remember a calculator from Dr. Hunter Stray years ago, where you had to go on an entire one day course just to learn how to use this calculator. Now, this calculator was amazing. I bought the calculator, I used it a lot. But I don't want to do an entire course just on how to use the calculator. And I'm a big believer that none of us can see the future 100%. It just doesn't exist. So rather have a plan that's 90 to 95% accurate, and you can do it in 10 to 15 minutes, then take three days pontificating and mentally you know what about little things that are going to make no difference in 10 years because you things are going to change over time in the next 10 years. No one knows. Okay. So you've got two things, basically. You've got the wealth plan and you've got the calculator. Let me show you what you're going to do with it. Okay. And just by the way, if you don't want to do it on your own, you can literally do wealth going global and it'll take you through this entire process. Okay. The goal. So it always starts with the goal. What do you want in cash flow? So you need to literally go here and you say, okay, cool. What do I want? So I want $10,000 a month, you know, passive income. So again, you sit on your bum and you do nothing. How much money do you want so that you are free to pay your expenses and live the life you want? So it might be $10,000. It might be $25,000. It might be $5,000. It might be $5,000. You know, it's, sorry, what did I just do there? Um, you, you get the point. Like, I don't know, it might be $3,000. It, it doesn't matter. And the beauty of what we've done with this calculator that, that we had built for us 
is you can do different currencies. So my strong recommendation is on the main column here, you do it in dollars. But say, for example, you're from South Africa or any other country, it could be England or anything else, you can literally change it and she's got the automatic exchange rate. It's all plugged in. So my logic of doing it in US dollars is if you want to be a global citizen, think like a global citizen. Uh, and this is after tax. Stay in because you can see tax is taken into account. You've got before and after tax later down the line. So this is what you need in your pocket to live. Okay, that then gives you an amount. So, but that's your target. You know what's interesting? Most people don't even know what they want. Mine is $15,000, just so that you know. I believe you can live very comfortably in England, Australia, America, South Africa, anywhere with $15,000 passive income per month. Okay, the formula. Then you must figure out how much capital you need based on the average cash on cash. So this is where it gets a bit fun. And by the way, you can't break the calculator, so you don't have to worry. So if you're not sure on the cash on cash, my strong recommendation is leave it at 8%. Like it's a good return. You'll get higher cash on cash. You'll get lower cash on cash. But a good average return is 8%. So that'll work out how much cash is required. Okay. Then you need to... Step three is the plan. You need to figure out how much you need to invest per month and for how long to achieve the goal. So this is where you go in. And some people say to me, well, if I've got my existing house, should I include it? Of course you can. Because, you know, like my mom just sold her house to pay for herself to go to her. Um, she's going, she's moved to an old age home. Like at the end of the day, yes, your home is an asset. But if you've got equity in there, it's still part of your overall portfolio. So I don't know. You've got some starting capital. You own a house, you know, whatever. Um, and then how much are you going to invest per month? You know, is it $200? Is it $1,000? Is it $5,000? I don't know. And then you want to increase that, you know, per year. I mean, you should be aiming to increase your investments, you know, every single year. Um, now, the average IRR, like, again, if you're not sure, I would leave that at eight. I would leave that at 15. They're good average numbers. But you can see that the calculator, and to Stain's point, this is after tax. You can see taxes at 30% here. You can see here that based on this calculation, um, it's in red. Like any simple accounting, it's in red. Like, hang on, that's not working. Okay, well, what do I do? I need more time. Okay, 15 years. Oh, I'm free. It's in green. Okay, hang on. Let's do, see if I can do it in 14 years. Nope, it's 15 years. And it's quite interesting because it's a seesaw. The returns in the middle, the 8% cash on cash and the 15% RRR, they don't match dramatically change. So you either need more time and less money, or you need less money and more time. It's quite simple. It's a seesaw. But the beauty is, is you play around with it and you find your happy medium. And then you take, you know, today's date, 2024, and, you know, it means you're going to be free in 15 years. And, you know, I'm currently 47. It means I'd be free at 62. Step four, the result, stick to the formula, measure, track, and keep going. So, you know, what's so interesting, I know people say, oh, but it sounds too good to be true, Scott. If you did that so quickly. I'm like, well, what else is there? You go to your plan. You go and you say, my... Passive freedom goal, according to this one, was $3,000. My cash on cash was eight. I commit to fund my wallet, $200 a month. My IRR was 15. I aim to invest for 15 years. The year I'll be free is 2039. I will be age 62. I plan to start, what's today's date? 10th of May, 2024. I'd recommend printing it, signing it, getting a witness and putting it on your, on your um, board. Shane, can you just help quickly? People are saying they can't uh, download it. It's weird because I just clicked on the link and I could download it. So Mike, um, yeah, I'd say 15% IRR is, like I said, 8% cash on cash and 15% IRR. So 
So, like literally, if you take myth three, people say, you know, there's one great investment. And it's like, oh, if I invested in Google shares, I'd be, you know, free now. Well, if I invested in Bitcoin 10 years ago, I'd be free. You know, and the, the point being is that, yeah, you're probably right if you if you got it right on that one-off equation. But what I've learned more than anything from the most people is that actually it's consistency, which is key. So it's really, really important just to create a plan and just to consistently do the plan in a repeatable way. You know, when I look at my uncle and Dr. Hannes Dreyer, who are two people that had quite a big impact on my life at a young age, like they both actually, I remember Hannes Dreyer on stage doing something, and I can't quite do it now because you can't see me walking on stage, but he kind of went like, creating wealth is so boring because you just do the right thing and just do the right thing and just do the right thing and just do the right thing over and over again, and it just works. And, you know, I look at my uncle, same thing. And that's why this, this plan becomes so important because you've literally, like, you get clear with a 90% plus accuracy as to what you need to do. You have your wealth plan, and then you just do it. And Cornelia, you know, one of the things that's, that's important there is that, you know, back to calculators, that's why I've, I've said it's only 90%. There's a bunch of things you could take into account, like inflation and whatever. Um, remembering that IRR, internal rate of return, is taking into account inflation. So it is being it is being taken into account. Like again, if we were standing on a debating society at Harvard, you know, there's many, many arguments that people could could say, oh, but it's not 100 percent accurate. And I I own that right up front. It's not. <laughs> but if it was a calculator that had absolutely everything in it, it would take me an entire day to teach you how to do that. And even if you did that, the world will still change. COVID will happen, you know, or the 9-11 will happen, or, you know, I don't know, like, you know, things that we didn't see coming or will happen and life will happen. And, and you know, so, so no plan is 100% accurate anyway. And so my attitude is, why don't we just have a general plan? Like when I climbed Kilimanjaro, you know, it took five days to get to the top. We were very clear on what the top was. So that's why I think, like in my case, it's $15,000 a month passive income. Like that's my top of Kilimanjaro. There's different ways to get up that mountain. There's different paths and some things work. And like I've done some things and I worked and some things I didn't and I failed, but you still continue up that mountain. And so Cornelia, to my, my belief system, as you get very clear on your outcome, have a general plan. Like I'm not just walking around the base of Kilimanjaro around and around and around and going nowhere. Have a guide like I had Chifu that took me up that mountain who had done it thousands of times it could help me you know avoid all the potholes and the problems and but the but the end of the day it's still a journey um, in terms of that process yeah and again I, I my belief system is that the that inflation is taken care of in the IRR because IRR takes care of inflation okay so I've just shared with you probably one of the more powerful tools that Shane and the mastermind and the team have created. Um, you know, again, you can go and do this in your own time. I strongly, strongly recommend it. If you want it sort of done for you, then you can literally go to Wealth Going Global. And I've already shown you, you can literally go through the course. You can fill it all in and it'll literally design um, your entire wealth plan for you. Again, it's your personalized plan, but it's all here. So again, it's your choice. So today as part of the, the challenge, we've given you the tools for free. Um, and I don't know why, but we, we, we're trying an experiment. But we've even given you the ability to sign up for Wealth Going Global for free. So you can literally, you know, jump straight in and get going with it. As um, Albert Einstein said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So, you know, again, maybe I'm wrong although we've helped thousands and thousands of people do this. Um, but if it's not working for you, if you haven't built a diversified global portfolio, if you haven't built globally diversified passive income, then maybe try something different because to keep doing the same things, you know, not going to get you those results. And then I wanted to share with you some deals because, you know, for me, what the hell's the point of talking about all this stuff without actually doing it? So let's go and rock and roll. And I go into Wild Migrate. Now, by the way, there's other platforms out there. I told you already, you know, the mastermind member just sent me one in the UAE. 
Um, the only thing that I think we differentiate ourselves on compared to everyone else is I'm the, to my knowledge, we're the only one that can help you diversify. All the other ones are like in one country and one asset and one currency. To my knowledge, we're the only one where you can diversify in multiple countries. So let me give you an example. And again, today is not so much about how to use the platform, but just quickly, you know, I can go in, I can set up all my different profiles. I can go in, I can, you know, I can do everything online. So I do all my KYC, KYB, I manage that all online. I've got my digital wallet. So I can go and see all my different, you know, um, transactions that are coming in here. I'm in charge of my money. I can deposit my money. I can withdraw my money. So, you know, if I withdraw, it's all here with my, you know, bank details, et cetera. So it's all really kind of easy. If I deposit money, just make sure you use your unique code. Um, but I'm, again, in complete control of my money. Um, if I go to my profile, I can see my different investments that I've invested in. Um, I can see the targeted returns. I can see the projected exit dates. So like, again, I'm in complete control of, you know, my overall resources. Like, so one of the things that I hate, I'm, I'm useless at admin. I hate admin. And um, so I like having everything in one place. And I always remember Richard Branson, you know, people say, why did you create Virgin Atlantic? He was like, because he hates, like, oh, sorry, he had a problem. He needed to fly. And so he was like, well, why didn't he like get an airplane? And, you know, by helping everyone else, he could help himself. Well, to some extent, Walt McGrath's the same as me, because I had all these houses everywhere and the complexity was horrible. And so it was like, well, why don't we create a platform to make it easy for everyone? And um, so anyway, so this is where we're at. And um, so now let's go and play a little bit of a global monopoly. And, um, you know, I want to go to invest in Germany. Uh, you know, look to Germany. I can go and watch the video with uh, Peter Katz. You, you got Solwyn. You met Solwyn yesterday. I can go see all about the building. I can see where it's at. I can, you know, like I said, I can see that this is a 7%, you know, 6.9% cash on cash, 16% IRR. I can see the partner. I can go, like, see all about the deal. Um, I can see the, 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 um, the risk rating. I can download all the documentation. I can see the risks. I love this part of the calculator. It's an automatic uh, calculator. So I can literally see if I invest $1,000 or $10,000, you know, what would my return be? I can see when my income is. So pretty easy, like in green is when money goes in my pocket. So I can see my income plus my capital growth. I can see if I invest $10,000 here over five years, I'm making $20,000 with my cash on cash and my IRR. Um, and I can go read all about the deal the sponsor, the due diligence, the deal summary, everything else. By the way, if you're lazy and you want to print it all out, like I like to print stuff out, you can literally download that. But let's just say I'm happy I've been through all this and I want to invest in this deal. I literally can go from $10. I go, yes, I digitally sign all the documents. I can download those documents. I go agree and I go make investment. And you've just seen me invest in Germany in 30 seconds. Okay, now I go in here and I go, oh, hang on, I've got a problem. I see I've invested twice in this deal. Let me cancel that investment and I can literally remove the investment. I'm in complete control of my money. Now, Theo's just asked me, there's a brand new deal, just went live as of today. So last year, this deal was uh, went live. Uh, just for our mastermind members. And there were only a few mastermind members that were able to participate. Um, it's an amazing deal. Phoenix is one of the top three markets in America. And um, we wanted to participate in this deal. By the way, I put, I personally participated in this deal. And, um, and we actually got an amazing opportunity, which we found out about about a month ago. There was an investor that was going to put $500,000 into this deal. And Judd Dunning, the principal of DWG, covered the investor because when... When it got to closing, the investor didn't put their money in. This happens in deals. And um, anyway, this person's messed him around for six months. And so he got hold of us and he said, well, would you like to invest in this deal? So it's an industrial logistics building. It's in Phoenix. It's right in the heart of Phoenix. There's massive opportunities here. Again, I, I don't want to go into all the, the details, but if I go back to, to quickly, and I'll show you here quickly what I showed the mastermind members back in... Uh, Uh, what year would it have been? Uh, hang on, two seconds, 2023. Sure, hang on two seconds. I've just got to find the thing. So I actually just want to show you what I showed the mastermind members. So I didn't even have time really to 
to do a proper brochure and everything because this thing went live pretty quickly. So here's the PowerPoint that I did. And um, I literally took them through like why I was investing in the deal. So, so firstly, DWG has 18 years experience, 50 million under management, uh, seasoned professionals. And then I kind of went through who all the different people were um, and, and why to invest. Then I went through you know, where Phoenix is, because most people don't know where Phoenix is in the whole of America. So it's in Arizona. And then I went, right, Phoenix is one of the top three markets in 2023 out of the top 60. So it's got a so strong proximity to Southern California. It's got population growth. It's business friendly. The Phoenix MSA is the top five industrial markets because of low vacancy, double digit growth. And then the nice thing is you've got urban infill. So there's no, supply and demand is not an issue because this is actually in the heart. So you've got strong corporate environment. It's one of three states which experience full recovery. It's the fifth largest MSA in the country, the number one city in America for population growth, and it's the largest tech investment. So that comes down to why the city. Then in terms of the deal, you're buying at 39% below replacement cost, 13% rent growth in the area, uh, vacancies are sub 4%, 8% cap rate, so you're buying at an 8% cap rate in a 5.8% uh, market. There's high barriers to entry. There's an 18-year lease in place. So MSA stands for Metropolitan Statistical Area. I'm not here to sell you a deal today. I'm just giving an example. It's a 25-year-old company. You know, um, they've, they've got 3% risk, you know, 2% uh, rental escalation built in, um, 6 million in revenue. Um, they, they basically, there was $1 million dollars so we bought it at a significant discount. And according to our valuation, when we bought it, it was a $1 million um, value like in the building from the day we bought it. Um, and then it was a 7% cash on cash return um, in terms of the deal. And then finally, you know, it's, it's got vacancy defensibility. It's got an 18 year lease uh, with personal guarantees. And you've also got market comparables in terms of the overall documentation. And then you've got the whole kind of strategy around single tenant. So if you're interested, all of this is here, all the cash flows, it's all online. Um, but in simple terms, it's a 7% cash on cash, a 17% IRR, a three to five year hold. If you put $100,000 in, you'll look to 2X your equity, which means double your equity in five years. The ROI is roughly 20%. And you can see it was closing at the end of May. I think it actually closed in June um, in terms of the process. Now, why is this all important? I told you already, that someone actually, I mean, the deal closed. I mean, I'm, I'm being paid my distributions every month. So this is a nice thing. This deal actually pays monthly. And um, yeah, this, this one investor was committed to $500,000 and then didn't participate. So the nice thing, yeah, it's called an equity release and it's literally available um, for investors now because you all missed this deal, but, but it's now available again. So a couple of us participated in it, but I can literally go into it now and I can invest again and i can go agree and i can go make investment <clears throat> and in the space of a couple of minutes without getting on an airplane from the comfort of my couch you just watch me invest in germany in a mixed use development and in america in phoenix in an industrial development and next week we're launching another deal in austin we've got one that we're working on in london there's a lot of uh, deals coming down the pipe so I don't know about everyone else, but like this is the point where I normally scream and shout and get excited. And Shane told me I'm not allowed to do that because Zoom <laughs> apparently like mutes me. Um, but does anyone else find this exciting? Like we just spent five days learning about the theory, how to find the right information, how to get the right partners. And I've just shown you in 10 minutes how you can actually do it. Like literally physically invest and like diversify and dip. Because what, what have you just watched me do? You just watched me invest in two different countries. You just watched me invest in two different currencies, the US dollar and the euro. You just watched me invest with two different partners. You just watched me invest in two different assets. And you just watched me invest with a different time frame. We've, we've learned for five days about diversifying across countries, currencies, assets, partners, and time. You just saw it. Ray Dalio says you only need 15. I've just done two of them, literally right in front of you. So, I mean, this is the point where I just like, you know, like, I'm like, job done. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I've shown you how to do it. I've taught you how to do it. I've given you the skills and I've even given you the solution on, on where to go. Um, and, and like I said, like I know Micheline and a few others have been on you know, a journey for a long time. Um, you know, it's only us people that have been doing this a long time. Mike, I'm sure, would, would a, a test with me. You know, for us old people, we used to have to fly overseas. We used to have to set up structures. We'd have to set up bank accounts. It would take us six months to find a property, to buy a property, to find a partner. Then we deal with all the hassle. You just watch me do it in under 10 months. So let me keep going. <laughs> I'll just be excited. So it's just me. <laughs> it's like, I always say like my son will be like, one day when I like show him what we built and he'll be like, what people can invest with a swipe of a finger. Like, yeah, that's obvious. I can, you know, do whatever with a swipe of my finger. <laughs> and I'll be like, do you have any idea how hard it was to build that over the last 30 years? Anyway, um, but hopefully you can see what I've said all along. It's like simplicity and safety, simplicity and safety, simplicity and safety. 26 years, simplicity and safety, simplicity and safety. And, uh, you know, that's, so this is another deal that's coming up. It's a private equity deal. We're hoping to get this live next week. Um, it's in Austin in America, and it'll be a nine to 10% cash on cash return with a three year um, view in terms of the process. Okay. So I asked you the question, you know, do you want to leave your comfort zone? The question I have for people is, you know, are you overwhelmed? And if you're not overwhelmed, you know, so be it. I'd be quite surprised if you're not. And I told you, and I warned you on Monday that I would take you on a process to get you consciously aware of what you didn't know, okay? And so if you're feeling overwhelmed, don't worry. Like I literally said to you, I'm taking you consciously on this journey to show you what you don't know because you didn't even know what you didn't know, okay? And people often say to me when they hear me talk, it's like drinking from a fire hose, which is why I enjoy this. I asked you a question right up front on day one. I know that Monday feels like 100 years ago. What would it mean to you 12 months or less to be earning a globally diversified passive income without any hassle or complexity? Do you know that you can invest in that industrial deal right now and it pays monthly? We're in the month of May. Realistically, if you invest in May, you'll start earning uh, rent in June, income in June, you'll be paid in July. So don't tell me that it's not possible. No disrespect, but I am going to be very direct. I asked you 12 my I asked you on Monday what it would be like to be earning a globally diversified passive income without any hassle or complexity. And I've just shown you you can literally go online from $10 and you can invest. And just by the way, that deal, because it's launched today, will go normally when we launch a deal, it, it has higher minimum uh, entries. So it's going to five thousand dollars at um, lunchtime today. I just made it ten dollars um, for people today to show you you can still invest in the German deal. Um, and we do allow people, we do have times where we drop it at $10. We don't leave it at $10 all the time. Okay. Um, so you need to, you need to have funded your wallet is the principle. So can we agree that I asked you this question, you said you wanted it and I've shown you how to do it. I've also asked you a question. How would you like a system which will statistically help you get there 70% faster, safer, and simpler. And hopefully over the last five days, I've shown you that there's a completely different way of doing it. You can try and do it all yourself. I've given you all the results. I've given you all the information. I've given you all the, the, the resources. Well, I, I, I actually haven't given you any of the resources. Shane, my incredible partner, has given you all the resources. We've given you everything. You can go and do it all on your own. You can be a dabbler, although you wouldn't be here anymore. You can be a stressor and go and do it all on your own. Or you can literally be a master and do it through partnership. I've shown you. And statistically, you'll be 70% better off, faster, simpler, and safer, just by doing it in a community. But I want to share a story with you. And this is a story I love. And you might or might not have seen me share this before. So the formula to success as taught in school. So in school, we're taught that we need to go out and get clarity. Okay, so, you know, I've done my school but I tell you what, I want to be an accountant. I better go and become a chartered accountant and I'll learn that. And then once I've done a chartered accountant, I'll be a CFA, which is a certified financial advisor. And I'll do that as well. And then, then I maybe should do some more courses because once I've done all of that studying, I'm going to get confidence. 
And only once I've done all of that stuff and am I going to make a commitment. You know, I've always wanted to start a business, but I tell you what, I better do all of these courses. And then once I've got that confidence, I'll make a commitment, you know, and then, you know, and then I'll have success. Or maybe I'm a property investor and I must, must go on lots of different courses and I must read lots of books and, you know, then I'm going to get some confidence and finally one day I'll make a commitment to actually be a property investor and then I'm going to get success. I mean, this is what we were literally taught at school. And I originally learned this from Roger Hamilton and it's completely wrong. And the way to learn this is from a guy called Andrew Kinney. Now, just by the way, this book, Think and Grow Rich. Um, just by the way, who would like a copy of this book, Think and Grow Rich and all the audio files? Literally. Written in 1937, created more US dollar millionaires than any other book ever created. Maybe Shane, we should chuck this in as a gift for people. And because um, we've got the audio files as well. So you can listen to it while you're in gym and running and riding and driving your car. Anyway, so Andrew Carnegie was the gentleman that, so this book was written by Napoleon Hill, but Andrew Carnegie was the one that actually paid for it. Now, who is Andrew Carnegie? Andrew Carnegie is a Scotsman. So he comes out from Scotland, he's in America. And what was so interesting is that he teaches you a completely different way of doing it. So he wanted to build a steel mill. Now he had no money, he had no resources, he had no track record. So he says to, he goes to JP Morgan, he says, I want to build a steel mill, JP Morgan, the bank. And he says, I want to build a steel mill. And, you know, JP Morgan goes, you, you're dreaming, you're laughing. Now in the old days, you know, or what we taught at school is, well, he should go and get a degree in, you know, how to build a steel mill. And he should probably go work for a steel mill company and he'll build confidence and one day he'll get clarity and then he'll get success. He did it completely different. He went, no, bugger that. I'm building a steel mill. Okay, and so he made a commitment. I'm building a steel mill. And then he basically went out and he spoke to all the different people that need steel, the shipbuilders and the railway people and the people building skyscrapers that needed steel. And he literally went to them and he said, let me be very clear with you. I'm building a steel mill and you can buy your steel from me or you can keep buying it from England. But my steel will be 50% cheaper than the steel coming from England. And you've got an option right now to buy your steel from me for the next two to three years, or I am literally walking down the road and talking to your competitor. And so what do people do? Well, they saw his commitment, they got confidence. So he signed all the, all these future contracts. And with that, he got clarity. And he went along to JP Morgan. He said, here all my future contracts are. I've got all my clients. Now please give me the money to build my steel mill. And the rest is history. He became the richest man in the world. What's the lesson? It all starts with commitment. You've been on a journey for five days. Firstly, congratulate yourself. You've come a hell of a long way. And as usual, you know, the numbers are astounding. There are one eighth of people that signed up are still here. So one in eight people that signed up. One in eight people thought, this challenge will be really good for them and they want globally diversified passive income. And one in eight people are, are here. So firstly, congratulate yourself for that because you've come a long way already. But my question is, who here is prepared to make a commitment to themselves? Not to me, it's not about me. Not to Shane, not to Alex, to yourself, to you, to your family, to the people that are important to you. And if you are, just type in the word commitment, just as a public declaration. Because you're putting yourself out there. You're putting it out. I don't, I don't want to get esoterical, but you're putting it out in the universe. You're literally saying, I am making a commitment. Because it all starts with commitment, as Andrew Carnegie said. And what's really, really interesting, I can see a lot of people. So congratulations to everyone that's, that's writing in their commitment. You know, whether you work with us or whether you work with anyone else, I don't care. We've shared with you your aspiration, our aspirational ladder. We've shared with you how to get the right information. We've shared with you how to get the right partners. We've shared with you the mastermind. If you literally want to do it in a collective and you want us to hold your hand and you want to do it in a collaboration, we've literally shared it with you. I showed you on Monday that we were going on this journey. I told you that I was going to take you from unconscious incompetence where you don't even know what you don't know to conscious incompetence. I believe you're probably sitting here now going, wow, there's a lot I don't know. And our job whether you want to do it through the home study course or whether you want to do it through the mastermind is to take you from, you know, to conscious competence and ultimately to unconscious competence. And that's what we call 
mastery. That's why we share with you people like Jordan that have done it or Victoria that have done it. And I want to share with you a real gift. And this gentleman, Abdul, is 72. So please don't tell me that you're too old or that it's too late because I hear all of that as well. This gentleman is amazing. And he's part of the mastermind. Um, he's actually the auditor that audits the auditor general. And um, he's the CA, obviously, by background. But Abdul has some incredible life lessons that I look forward to sharing with you. And so without further ado, I hand you over to Abdul. So Abdul, thanks for joining us. I know that you've just had an operation. So I really appreciate you jumping on and, uh, and joining us and, uh, and sharing. Tell us just a little bit about yourself. You've got a fascinating story um, of, of your background and accounting and you know, auditing and everything in between. I'd love to know, like just people to understand who you are. Oop, hang on, hang on. We need to unmute you, Abdul. Can you just unmute yourself? Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Got you. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Uh, yes, indeed. I had my episode of surgery. They put eight implants in my mouth. Oh, wow. And I thought initially it was going to be a walk in the park and it proved otherwise. But anyway, we're here to talk. Okay, for three days, I could not even say a word. But anyway, we are. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your experience with everyone because I deeply appreciate it. Okay. In terms of, you know, the brief you extend to me, I, again, with pleasure, share. And I think just a little I, I, I covered that you covered now the, towards the end when you say commitment. But co commitment can only come from belief. If you don't believe in anything, you can't commit to anything. So that belief normally is, is either a dream or a vision. So in my case, I learned fairly early in my life that auditing, I'm an auditor. Auditing is an extremely boring profession and you need to have excitement in your life. So I've never divorced myself from the entrepreneurship of it. So the only person I really worked for in my life is that firm that trained me to become what I am. After which, when I got my CASA, the Chartered Accountant South Africa, I opened my own office. And for the first month, my or first year, sorry, my turnover was less than my salary for a year. But that same firm that I started is now 40 years old and responsible for what I am, who I am, and what I have. So one needs to have the commitment and one also needs to have the tenacity and the wherewithal to stay the course. And that comes from that belief, that absolute belief that you're going to succeed. It's so it what is you just said there. Sorry, I just, want to, I just want to butt in, but I just want to reinforce what you just said there. Because we're all going to have dark days. We're all going to have dark weeks, dark months, and even dark years. But if you've got that belief to keep going and, and you've got a clear goal in mind, it's only a matter of time until you get there, you know? Correct. And, and, and really, that is what it is. And the universe takes care of the rest, really, believe me. Uh, but if you focus, you know what you want, and you, and you, you go for it, you will achieve it. And I'm a living example of that. In my little uh, life journey from opening up my own auditing practice, uh, the firm today audits the Auditor General of South Africa in terms of doing, uh, you know, pre-issuance reviews, etc. So, I mean, that's quite a way to come. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is that on the entrepreneurial side, I was introduced to property. And the first property transaction I ever had was Newfields, uh, way back in the 20, 2005. Telcom was selling off land. And one of the pieces of land they were selling off was their training center in Brackenfell, Cape Town, which was some 35,000 square meters of land. Wow. I did my homework. 
Okay, checked what the square meter rate is for land and quickly I realized that this is the biggest piece of industrial land in the area. And I said, well, we must win this. So I don't have money. I partnered with two other individuals and I said, right, we're going to go for this. And they supported me. We then made the, at that time, the price was 285 rands going right in the market. But because we want to win, I made a few sums and I said, no, we must go in at 450 rands of square meter. And we won. And then we looked at who was the next or the second guy. There was at least a hundred and some odd rands difference between us and them. Wow. And my partners weren't very impressed with me. <laughs> but but within, like <laughs> uh, and, and within a period of a year, property in the area escalated to 800 rands a square meter. Wow. So double. And Telcom beat more than almost double. And Telcom being what Telcom was, they dragged their feet in terms of giving us transfers. So we're having a free ride. Uh, eventually, I was approached by another property developer who was doing mini factories. And he offered me for two thirds of the land, you're going to give me 850 rands a square meter. Sure. I said, great, I'll take that. Okay, so I was going to spend 17 million with, uh, with uh, Telcom. A deposit of 1.7 million is the deposit. And he was going to pay me 21 million for what he wants. So I got, a, I got 4 million rands worth of profit. With a 4 million, and I'm getting 12,000 square meters of land for free. With that, I was the first to build a self-storage facility in the area, which obviously cost me for free. I eventually, after, I don't know, I sold it three years ago, I sold that same facility for 56 million to storage, the listed company. So, and you earned the income all the way through as well. Correct. So, so that is what one is saying. And I take, in other words, I may not have known the storage business, but there was sufficient detail on the internet that made me aware that what is happening in the world is that we live in smaller and smaller spaces, but we are generally warders. So I developed the concept of here is a hotel for your goods. <laughs> and that place, that place filled up within two years. Wow. And it's so interesting just to reiterate a couple of things you said there. So, you know, there's a lot of people beyond you are like, I got no money, I can't do it. It's like, no, but you just said you had no money, but you got the partners in and got the deal done. And I mean, I told the story earlier, my first development was exactly the same. So, you know, just a, it's just an awakening and an awareness for everyone on that. The second one that, that, that I think is important is that you took a sector that was, was new, but you did the research and you were like, right, this is future proofing. This is where the world's going. So we talk a lot about trends and fundamentals. And it was like, right, this is going to work. And then the third thing, which, which, which you sort of dropped it right at the end there, but most people, you know, I want to make sure they heard it, is that how do most people make money in property? It's by selling to a listed company. Because listed companies don't like getting their hands dirty. They like just to buy assets that are working and are performing and the income's coming in. So Abdul and his partners did the hard work. They owned the building. They, it's called um, seasoning the rent and all that sort of stuff. I won't get into fancy terms, but in simple terms, it's just making sure the rent is stable. And then they sold it on to, to, a, to a REIT, a real estate investment trust or a property fund or something that's listed, who has all the money but doesn't want to get their hands dirty. And, and what, you, what Abdul's just explained is what I taught you a couple of days ago in the value chain of real estate. Like literally, that's the best way to do it uh, in terms of that process. So Abdul, let me ask a question to you in terms of it. So you've been very, very successful in property in your country. Uh, I mean, you happen to live in South Africa, but it could be anyone. It could be a German, a German living in Germany, you know, and um, because obviously you know the market, you understand the market, you're an accountant by background, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you went and decided to sign up for Wealth Going Global, you know, to, to try and, you know, I don't know, solve a problem. What was that problem for you and what, why did you sign up for Wealth Going Global? Uh, Scott, like I said to you at the beginning, I have this wealth, it's all localized. I'm, I have no exposure anywhere else on earth. Okay, so 
the catchy phrase from your side was uh, going global or diversified income going global. Now that appealed to me. In other words, yes, I may be rich in this country. What happens if I'm outside? There's all types of restrictions in terms of the transfer of my wealth, my assets, wherever I may be on earth. So that appealed to me. And I really, when listening to your, 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 you know, the initial thing you sold to me, I forget now what it was, Wealth well, Going Global, going global yeah. program. It took, it took all of five months, is that, or five weeks? Okay, and, and that really opened an opportunity or a, a process for me in terms of engaging in diversifying my wealth. And I must say, if although I have the brains to think that out, why must I do that? Yeah, you're giving it to us on a platter. So we we follow that process, and yes, we engage, and yes, we will get exposed. We have obviously since uh, did do an investment again in property. Property is the economics I understand. It makes sense to me. Okay, and we invested in that, and there are two more potential transactions on the table. Hopefully, I'll be able to partake in those as well. And yes, what I got as a product from the initial course was what is referred to as a diversification plan, where, again, one sets objectives. Uh, you, you, that becomes your dream. You commit to that and now roll it out. Yeah. Surely it won't happen next week, but as long as it happens, I think you're on the right road. And, and that's the path I've chosen to take. And oh. thanks to you, Scott. Oh, awesome, Abdul. Well, you know, one of the things that I, I just want to highlight and, 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 and congratulate you for as well is that a lot of people have analysis paralysis. And if I take the journey over the last couple of months, you know, you did the course, um, you know, your, something obviously resonated, you enjoyed it, you joined the mastermind, um, you know, between Alex and I, I know you like face to face. So, you know, Alex came to see you and 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 you invested, you know, and and actually you've already earned your first passive income, like all in the space of, I don't know, four months, basically, four or five months. That's I don't right. exactly, but call it call it six months if you want. Like, I don't mind, you know, in terms of that that process. And I just wanted to kind of give people a feel that, again, when someone's prepared, like, and I love your word belief, when when they've got the belief, they've got the desire, like, and they're prepared to take action, like stuff happens quite quickly in the, in the process, you know, it's sort of, as you said, the universe conspires to get behind you and make it happen. So I just wanted to say like, well done to you, because the reason I asked you to come and share with people today is that often people sit here and they go, no, it sounds too good to be true, or like, I don't understand, or, you know, I, maybe I can't do it or whatever. And I, and I purposely each day try to bring someone to say, well, look, Here's a real person with their own real life and real challenges and real whatever. And, and in your case, a huge amount of experience as well. Like, I mean, you you know more about South African property and particularly industrial and storage and everything than, than I've ever learned, you know. And and so that and that's the beauty. We don't have to know everything. Like we can collaborate with each other. I mean, I've even joked with Abdul, not joke, quite serious actually. I'd love to get him onto the investment committee. I think his knowledge is amazing and can add massive wisdom to to you know us and and looking at opportunities around the world you know but that's the power of partnership you know yes certainly uh, scott and the other part is obviously uh, one of the things you alerted us or reminded myself is that if you do things in teams it becomes easier collective wisdom is better than your own limited and and parochial type of ideas so that's also something i quite enjoyed uh, in a sense that here's a deal this is how it being presented it resonates with me but it's thought through by others that i can relate to yeah. and and that's also key in a sense that we always can't uh, uh, believe that we understand everything but yeah. in a team each one has his good points and he knows what he's good for and you put all of those together you will end up maybe with a success but if you don't have that maybe we'll never get to success yeah it's people a bunch of people are saying inspiring story love the collective wisdom amazing so thank you so much i've got two last questions for you abdul 
My first question is, I get asked the question all the time, is it too late? You know, I'm 55, I'm 60, whatever it is, whatever age people associate with being too late. And they say, it's too late for me, I can't do it. And one of the things I'm so impressed with you, and again, you don't have to share your age if you don't want to, but the point being is that your mindset and your thinking is like, you know, a 20 year old, okay? And, what I, and I mean that with the greatest, no, because my point is, you know, age is just a number, you know, and, and it's never too late. And I just, I'd love to just ask you the question, what's your, what would you say to someone that says, no, you know, I'm, I'm 65, it's too late. Like, what would you say to them? Well, I'm beyond that. And it's never too late. Uh, the only time when you're late is when you're late, you're dead. Yeah. Up until then, you have a purpose on this earth, perform it. No, brilliant, brilliant. And that's part of that belief that you're talking about. You must believe, the first thing you must believe in is yourself and that lease of life that you have in you. Practice it. Enjoy it. No, that's brilliant, man. Abdul, I, I, my final question, which I think you might have just taken out of my mouth, I was literally going to go, so what would be your final words of wisdom for people? Uh, and, and I think you might have just given it, but I don't know if there's anything you want to wrap up with. You know, for people that are sort of, they're here, they've come and sat, they're on the fence, whatever it is, you know, what any 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 sort of um, ideas or thoughts that you want to give them? I, I think we all need to be thankful and grateful that we're alive. Okay, and then we need to understand the purpose of our life. And really, I'm a firm believer in that we put on this earth to create value. The ingredients for the creation of any value, of all values, is your time, your energy, and resources. Define the value to be created, and you will be able to define the resources necessary for its creation. It's a formula. You can use it in any sphere of your life. It works. Wow. You want to know further <laughs> about it? You can come have more chats with me and I will also, like you, I love teaching because I believe the best way to learn is to teach. Yeah, well, it's so interesting. You know, Abdul and I didn't even prepare for this. And you've been incredible, dude. Like literally the best way to learn is to teach is, is, is fantastic. And I'll tell you what, Shane, I'm going to resign and Abdul can take over the rest of the presentation. <laughs> no, that was brilliant, mate. Thanks so much for your time. You know, as I said, uh, just come out of hospital and, and um, I'm sure, I mean, I'm blown away by what you shared. I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, right, I'm going to listen to that recording again. I, I need to write down that formula. That was amazing. So thanks so much for your time. That was incredible. My pleasure, Scott. So did you enjoy, Abdul? Amazing gentleman, huh? Um, also, also one of the people I'm truly gifted and blessed to be part of within the mastermind. So... Yeah, I think this is the power of the mastermind. It's not about one individual. It's about us as a collective whole, being able to engage and discuss and talk. And then you've got accountability partners. And so different people can work together and, you know, get uh, <clears throat> get knowledge from each other and share and grow. And, you know, again, you've got people from all different countries and men and women and different backgrounds and different age groups and experiences. So, yeah, it's, um, I, uh, I always read like, you know, when I when I did that interview with him, I like didn't didn't expect that by any measure. So it was really quite amazing. Cool. Okay, let's say uh, we are into the final lap. You know, it's a bit like when I was running comrades. You know, you you're starting to climb poly shorts in terms of that process. So I just wanted to. I was looking through the comments and uh, Micheline. I just wanted to congratulate you. Um, I see that you just invested in both America and Germany. And Micheline, I've I've brought this up a few times, but. You know, she's been on this journey, her and I have been on this journey for a long time. And I remember doing bias trips as far back as 2012, 2013. You know, she she's certainly done it the hard way as well um, in terms of flying overseas and all that. So I know that uh, um, someone like Micheline and myself, you know, truly, truly um, understand how different it is to be able to use uh, technology. So anyway, congrats, uh, Micheline. And I, uh, yeah, I just, I just love the way that, you know, we can all now diversify and invest. And I know Ashton, you asked, I was looking through all the comments. Ashton asked, you know, is this only for property? No, it's not. That's why it's cash on cash and IRR. It could be anything. It, literally, you could put any asset class you want into it. But it does work on both cap rates, not cap rates, sorry, cash on cash and IRR in terms of that process. Uh, when does the deal expire, Ashton? 
look, there's new deals coming all the time. The Phoenix deal, we've only got five hundred thousand dollars, so it expires as soon as the money is raised. Um, you know, we we raised five hundred thousand, you know, for the Manhattan deal in three weeks. Um, you know, in terms of you know, so in terms of the process. So yeah, okay, let's rock and roll. I have shared with you, you know, and again, you know, I know Micheline's part of the the mastermind, so. I look forward to going on the journey with you, Micheline. We've all said that the coach, you know, is definitely the better way to, to do it. That is why the mastermind was created. Five simple steps to be able to help someone to be able to go through this journey and to make it a reality as quickly, simply, and safely as possible. And I do remind you, you have a choice. You can do it on your own. You can get a coach one-to-one -one, where you'll be four times more successful. Or you can kind of be part of a mastermind where you'll be 20 times more successful. So you'll get there quicker, safer, simpler. And I know it sounds too good to be true. So divided by, you know, divided by 200%. I don't actually care. But it's it's a fact that you will get there at least five times quicker, simpler, and safer than trying to do it all on your own. And I love the way Abdul expressed that. So, you know, in conclusion, if, uh, if you still you know, on the fence, then, you know, maybe the mastermind actually isn't for you, <laughs> in honest truth, because uh, I think your intuition kind of tells you these things. Uh, but yeah, anyway, there's the link um, for anyone. <clears throat> I love this little, you know, uh, picture. You know, the last five days, I've kind of shared with you all the theory, and we all think that all the little puppies are going to come and eat like that. But in real life, it's like this. And, and why that is, is because on Monday morning, or even this afternoon, you know, life's going to hit you in the face and stuff happens and you get busy and you don't have time and all that. And, you know, I remember when I finished Tony Robbins' uh, business mastery in 2010 and he gave me he gave me the slide and he said, yeah, I'd be surprised if you're not feeling overwhelmed, don't know where to start, information overload, you know, no, I need to get started, but I'm what? It seems like a mountain to climb. I know 97% of people will fail as they don't take action, but I don't want to be one of them. You know, I want to make a plan, take action, and I want to make sure I get results. But the problem with most training is there's no accountability. There's no monitoring. It's short-term feel good. Yay, the last week's been great. Yeah, 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 short-term feel good. Okay, um, failure to implement. Lose focus and effectiveness is passed down. And then what? You know, I've kind of referred to this already. Oh, well, it's fine. I'll just go out and, you know, um, I'll do another course, you know. You know, I'll do another, read another book, do another seminar. Uh, but I won't implement that either. And then I'll just blame the facilitator. <laughs> You'll blame me because I'm useless and I don't know what I'm doing. But the bottom line is you didn't actually implement anything that, that you learned. And that's why, again, I learned this from Tony Robbins and Chad Holmes. If you're learning any skill, it could be time management, it could be wealth, it could be anything. You know, again, on Monday, you were over here. I'm, I'm hoping that your skills have improved quite a lot. But on Monday, it, you'll drop off. It's a fact. And that's where the dabblers leave and the stressors start stressing. But the bottom line is you're better off. You're better off today than you were on Monday. And there's only one way to keep repeating this, and that's repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Repetition is the mother of skill, to do it over and over and over again. And so I want to share a gift with you. And I had, uh, it's a bonus. I had the privilege of, in 2010, doing Business Mastery 1 in Vegas and then doing Business Mastery 2 in Fiji. And I then went out to Fiji and I actually said to Tony Robbins, he was creating this course called, um, well, it was the Business Mastery and Business Breakthroughs. And I said to him, hey, where are you selling this? And he said, no, in America, in England, Australia. And I said, what about Africa? He said, no, nah, we, we, we don't even care about Africa. And so I said, um, well, can I be your business partner in Africa? So him and Chet Holmes agreed to allow me to be their partner in Africa. So I was Tony Robbins and Chet Holmes as business partner in Africa. So we launched Business Breakthroughs in Africa. Uh, that was me, a much younger me. Um, and what was really interesting is I, I got personally trained by Tony Robbins and Chet Holmes. And when I finished Business Mastery, Tony Robbins gave a gift called Creating Lasting Change. And it's the seven master steps to maximum impact, the, seven, the keys to leadership, the six human needs, the skill of decision making, the formula for happiness, and a scientific way to get results. And... As I said, I literally, I mean, very few people in the world have been personally trained uh, by Tony Robbins and Chet Holmes. But because I was their business partner, I actually got trained personally to do this. And so I have recorded what I learned in, in that training into a masterclass for you. 
about creating lasting change. And it's all about how to take what you've learned and actually execute it and to get results in your life. And I literally want to give it to you. And I want to give you an ethical bribe. Is that fair? So what I mean by an ethical bribe is I'm literally going to give that to you for free in return for if you give me a testimonial. So if you go to Trust Pilot and you give us a testimonial, uh, we will, a written one, we will literally give that training to you for free. And if you give us a video testimonial, we'll give you $150 off uh, any um, different <clears throat> product that you invest in. Now, why do we do this? I have a fundamental belief that people trust other people, real people, real stories. So don't give me a testimonial if we didn't add value. I, I, I don't want that. Okay. But I have a purpose and a passion to empower everybody to invest like the top 1%. And for most people, it starts with belief. Most people actually think it's not even possible. So I can stand on stage all day long. I can try and teach people, but people don't believe it's possible unless they have personally seen other people do it. And so we believe a lot in the whole principle of sharing and real people, real stories. And so I want to give you a gift. The Creating Lasting Change was one of the greatest gifts I was given by Tony Robbins, where I was literally trained personally in it on how to take knowledge and turn it into results. And I want to give you that gift so that you can take this knowledge and you can turn it into results. And in return, the gift I ask for is that you will give us uh, testimonials on the value that you are receiving so that other people can receive it. Is that a fair, a fair trade? Yes or no? And by the way, you'll notice not all the testimonials are wonderful. We've got some, I, I spoke about some of the deals that... Uh, that didn't work like Kensington and whatever. And they're on there. And I'm a big believer in our core values of trust, transparency, and alignment. You know, we, we don't take them down. We, we talk to them. We, we discuss them. Um, I, you know, in terms of this game that, that we're in of both knowledge and wealth learning, and then obviously investing, you know, you're going to make mistakes over time. And I, I want the testimonials to be authentic, real people, real stories, good stories, bad stories, and everything in between because that's really you know living up to your values of trust transparency and alignment so that's an offer that uh, remains on the table and again it'll be in the resources guide uh, for you so let's look to finish off i started on monday with people get their musts and not their shoulds you get what you tolerate so i remind you turn your musts turn your shoulds into your musts i showed you that you learn by kind of going through the theory and then practicing and then finally you turn into physical mastery. I showed you the difference between dabbling and stressing and finally mastery. And hopefully you've all committed to mastery in terms of this process. And I always use Richard Branson, you know, he's done 400 companies. I'm sure when he goes into a new company, <laughs> he's kind of like been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Um, what do you think? Of this challenge so this is a this is a fun little thing that uh, shane saw with iaw which we thought we would copy so we want you just to put down literally um one word we want to have some fun so one or two words so don't type them in the chat box yet um, get ready to type them so put them in the like type them in but don't press send and then i'm going to literally count to three and everyone presses send at the same time and we get to see all the words that everyone said so I'd like to just see what everyone said. I've got no idea what you're going to say, but it's literally, let's have some fun. One to two words. It's Friday afternoon. Come on, no matter where you are in the world, it's Friday. And um, one to two words. So on the count of three, one, okay, don't, but don't post it yet. Just, just get ready to press enter. Okay, it's the other way around. Three, two, one. Okay, go, post it. <laughs> I want to see what everyone's got to say. Anyway, you can see I'm already in Friday afternoon noon mode. Um, awesome. Thank you for all the for all the nice words. Yeah, so that's brilliant. Um, I'll go back and read it all just now. So yeah, appreciate that. Okay, and if you wouldn't mind just screenshotting them for me, because when I go in the VIP room, I'll lose them all. Okay, the action items. Finish your wealth plan. Develop a plan for diversifying your investments, considering your financial goals and risk tolerance. I mean, we've given the, you the tools. You can either do it on your own or you can do it through the wealth uh, going global. Um, finalize your diversified investment action plan, including specific steps. Take action. You know, so again, something I've learned so many times over, 
Commit today to take one action. Don't do 10 things, do one thing. It might even be literally, I'm going to plan my week where I'm literally going to make sure that, you know, something that I do with almost every mastermind member is like, right, what's your week? And when are you going to do it? So like my one thing, Friday, boom, I get shit done on a Friday. The important stuff that's going to move the needle forward for me in my life. You can see my whole life. And just by the way, it's not all hard work. I play paddle on a Tuesday. I ride my bike on a Thursday. I've started to learn to live life as well. And you can see family and, and whatever in there as well. So maybe that's your one thing. I don't know what it is, but make sure that you take your one thing. Um, yeah, Mark, I'll answer that in the asset class. Uh, cover the best asset classes. Think of. Yeah, perfect. I'll do that in the, in the VIP. Okay, and then silver and then gold. Do a testimonial and get the creating lasting change. If you're not sure what to do, again, change created that navigator. The prize winner is Rika. So well done, Rika. Thank you for all the engagement today. Deeply appreciate it. And you have been upgraded to VIP. And you will not only get VIP in terms of all the recordings, but you'll also be able to turn up live for our next challenge, which will be in about two months' time. So I see the chain has sent you the link in the chat box. Again, you've got the face, the WhatsApp group. Come and join us in the Facebook group. Come and engage and you know discuss what you learned in terms of the overall challenge. I'll finish off with a couple of important things just to remind you. The whole week, all I've tried to share with you is the right information and the right partners. What do you do going forward? You know, we came here with a mission to turn money into globally diversified passive income. Under your learning, you can give a testimonial and we'll give you creating lasting change. Join Wealth Going Global, join the mastermind, or do the navigator. I mean, take a screenshot of the screen because this gives you very clear next steps. On the investing side, come to the Investor Roadmap Workshop if you want to learn more about the platform and invest. It's that simple. Five days, one page. The aspirational ladder for people that you know want to understand the learning side, you've got Wealth going global, the right information. You've got asset mastery, the right partners. And you've got the mastermind, which includes the family office in terms of that process. If you want to us to hold your hand, you can see the little green arrow going all the way up, which is the mastermind. And imagine if 12 months from now, you were working on the countries to invest in, the currencies to invest in, the assets to invest in, the partners to invest in, the time and your time management your mindset and your strategic thinking, your execution and your accountability, and your investing and your review. Just quickly, type in the chat box, where would your life be 12 months from now if you were consistently repeating that on a monthly basis for the next 12 months? I know it's fairly obvious, but this is why we've created what we've created. There's the formula that we have been on all week. My gift and my wish for all of you is that you learn and, and experience having globally diversified passive income. You diversify across countries, currencies, assets, partners, and time. As Nelson Mandela said, money won't create success. The freedom to make it will. And I love this little video. I have walked a long walk to freedom. It has been a lonely road and it is not over yet. You know, the journey to wealth is a lonely road. Most of us are on that journey in, in a, by ourselves and Often our friends and our family don't understand and our financial advisors think we're mad because we're not doing what they have been taught to do, which is put us in a box. And yet we know intuitively, you wouldn't be here otherwise if you knew that the system that we've all been taught to use doesn't work. And it's lonely. I mean, it's lonely to be out there. And so the only thing I invite you is that, you know, join us, become a wealth hacker. We're on a, we're on a journey together. You know, this is my next live workshop. If you want to come along and, and actually learn about the investing side and go into more detail about it, if you, you know, want to go and just watch the recordings, they are available in terms of the process. 
I do ask that if we've added value to you over the last five days, if nothing else, share it with your friends and family, tell them to come to the next challenge. You know, our purpose is to empower everybody to, to invest like the top 1%. But, you know, at the end of the day, we've got to reach people. We've got to, we've got to let people know that, that this is even possible. And so my gift to you is that creating lasting change. And my request in return is that if we've added value to you, you know, tell others about it. And in conclusion, as the African proverb said, if you want to go far, go alone. If you want to go, no, <laughs> I can't even get my own quote right. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor and a privilege to share the stage with you for the last five days. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd like to just say a huge thank you to Shane and Alex. There's a whole lot happening behind the scenes that people don't know. To the rest of the team, you know, um, you know, deals are going live, deals are being distributed. You know, I stand on stage and make things look easy, but there's an incredible team of people. that are making this vision a reality. So, you know, I just want to really acknowledge them. Um, to our shareholders, you know, we, uh, we've had some torrid times turning this vision into reality, but I'm deeply grateful that we can now stand on stage and where we said, you know, make investing as simple as a swipe of a finger. You know, we're not quite there. It's not quite virtual reality yet, but it's certainly a hell of a lot simpler and safer than it was 10 years ago. So, you know, thank you for all of you being on this journey with us. And then to you as, as investors, you know, um, we're not going to change the world unless we get results. So my real, real request to you is um, go and do it. Make your life a statement that others want to copy. And the more that each of us take that responsibility and make that commitment, the more others will realize that it's possible. And that's how we change the world. So unfortunately, I leave you with a responsibility because if you want a better world for yourself, for your, for your children, um, for future generations, then the responsibility lies with you to make it a reality. And if each of us take that personal responsibility, then we can make a meaningful difference on the planet. And um, yeah, I don't kind of want to get into all of that stuff, but I, as you can pick up, feel very, very strongly about this. So I'm truly grateful for your time. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please share it with others. But most importantly, get the results for yourself. And to those of you who are in the VIP, I look forward to seeing you in the VIP now. Let's close out strong and make sure that we are getting you the results that you want. To everyone else, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful year. And most importantly, please, get the results and let us know about those results because nothing gives me more peace of mind that we are making me meaningful progress when people tell us about how it's impacted them and made the changes. Thanks so much for your time. I deeply appreciate it. And we will see you on the next one. I can see someone. Shane, Scott, I just wanted to say final comments. Yep, I'm coming up. As well. Final comments from both of you would be awesome. Yeah, I'm just reading all the comments that of thanks coming through on the chat. And I just want to do um, from my side and uh, on behalf of everyone on the chat, just say thank you for um, this uh, five day experience and always bringing your energy. And um, it, it's yeah, it's just been amazing. So thank you so much. Yeah, so I think uh, I can speak for for a long time, but I think to, to keep it very simple, um, let's seek the change that we we want in others from ourselves. And let's let's just take an extra step. And day by day, let's improve our portfolios together with like-minded individuals. And um, yeah, last five days has been very, very intense. Um, I think the next five days, next week's going to be very intense. I'm trying to keep up with all the messages and all of the love. And um, yeah, I appreciate the the positivity. Thank you for that. Awesome. Okay, Brian. Um, uh, Shane, can I ask you, because I haven't had a chance to read everything. Um, I can't talk and read at the same time, but I know I need to pivot to the VIP room. So if you screenshot everything, can I rock and roll? Yep, I've got it. Okay, Brian. Thanks, Thanks for the everyone. Show. See you on the other side.